December 2020's used PC parts hunt of the month is going to be a little bit different than usual and it's not just because it's the last month of a pretty much a terrible year for everybody but it's also going to be where I'm just going to be hitting the road and finding deals as they come up rather than jumping on Gumtree and Facebook and checking out the overpriced graphics cards where it's pretty much like come on guys a 1060 used and you're asking more money than the 1650 super costs new. I mean the ongoing struggle to get GPUs at a decent price on the used market is something that I've seen now for over six months and that's a trend looks like it's going to keep continuing until Nvidia and AMD bring out something new on that $200 price point to really separate the numbers from these pretty similar numbers between 1060s and 1650 supers for example. But that aside let's go hit the road now where our first deal is a GPU here for a 7850 at 40 bucks it's not too far from where i am i'm gonna go pick that up we've also booked up to go see les he's got a few things for us and hopefully by the time we've done those two things some other deals pop up let's get going So here's the first deal we've picked up. It's a 7850. They're asking 50. I just said, look, would you take 30? And then they said, well, 40. I'm like, well, 40 is fair for a two gigabyte card. I mean, I really need these at the moment. And I'll put the US pricing up there for you guys. I'd say just uh, about 28 USD or something like that. Because although a lot of people are wanting the higher end gaming PCs like the 3080s and stuff like that, there's still a market for these little entry level gaming PCs. So it's always good to pick up something like that. Let's go hit the road for the next deal. Man, a couple hours, give me two hours. So we're just finishing up at Les's place now and we've got a decent score where I've bargained eight monitors. Some of them I guess are B-grade stock in the used scene. They've got some little blemishes on them but you can still put them in uh, I guess budget rigs. So we picked up 140 Aussie for these eight monitors here. Assortment of 19 inch, 22 inch and also 124 inch. But let's take a look at what's inside the car here because we actually stopped off at a computer store quickly. I picked up just a couple of brand new cases if I want to put together some say mid and sort of higher end rigs. I got two of those. I've got those for the flip up challenge which is important. Two of these water coolers here, they're the final components I needed and I'll show you guys what I'll be doing in that uh, series. Episode will be very, dropping very soon by the way. And then we've got inside here six computers. Uh, we picked these up $52 each. And Les said if he did them for $52, he'll throw in a bonus one that doesn't boot. So it's a little bit dirty, doesn't boot, but we'll see if we can fix that one up as opposed to the other five of these Z Towers. They work absolutely fine. But what we're gonna do right now is jump over to the next deal where we found a GTS 450. It's near where I live. It's $10. We're just gonna quickly snap that up. And we just quickly picked up a GT 450, one gigabyte. This is just around the corner. I mean, 10 bucks, you, you can't go wrong. I mean, something like this is really for someone who just wants to play CSGO. And believe me, there are people who want like really cheap gaming PCs for really low entry level points. And as long as you advertise it as saying, look, this thing won't be playing the latest titles, but it'll play some older titles with AOK -okay frame rates and 19 inch monitor included, then it's not a bad deal. So we ended up getting a GT 1032 gigabyte and a, a GPU with no fan on it. So these two came up as just a GPU bundle. This is an RX 562 gigabyte. So this was a really cool deal for 50 bucks, but I do have to add a fan on top of this GPU right here. So me just searching for random stuff is starting to work out really well for me this month in terms of actually getting graphics cards that I can use it's mainly on low-end bangers, but that's sometimes how the market goes. So let's go finally now get this power supply, this 650 uh, watt Corsair that popped up before, and then see what else is coming up. And this next deal just came up out of nowhere as an old 5770. The person must have been sitting on it for quite a while. 
It was a one gig model. They were asking like $30. I just put down $10 on it because that's realistically all this thing is worth. And when I went over there, I just asked them if they had anything else. They said they had one of these lying around, an old uh, Fire Pro W5000 graphics. And I just said, how much do they want for it? And they said 10 bucks would be fine too. So I got two of these cards for 20 Aussie dollars. So I'm just cleaning up this month with the potatoes on the budget end. And to be honest, like I'm not expecting too much out of these because a lot of people picking up low end PCs actually just wanna play Roblox, which I've never even played. But from what I gather, budget cards like these actually do pretty well. So I'm gonna quickly unload now and try and see if I can pull up some more deals. So some good news that's come up is we've got firstly a Radeon 200 series graphics card where they're asking $25 but they actually don't know the exact model. It just shows up in their windows as a, a Radeon uh, 200 series. And it looks to me like it's a Radeon R7 250. And so they're asking 25 bucks. I just said, look, would you take 20 cash pickup? They said, sure. So I'm gonna go get that GPU now. And we're also looking at a Ryzen 5 3600 and a B450 motherboard. And they said it had bent pins and they bent them back and they've put the CPU in and it works absolutely fine. But if that's the case, I mean, if everything's working fine, mentioning that's kind of like, is there a problem there? So I've put down an offer of 240 Aussie. They're asking over 300. I mean, if everything's working out absolutely fine, then there shouldn't be a problem. But perhaps there might be a memory channel missing or something like that, because that's what can happen when a bent pin comes about, especially if it's snapped off. So we'll see what they say and we'll keep you guys updated, but let's go quickly grab that graphics card and then see what we got on our hands. And it's now the next day and we've got all these PCs here where last month I also, I'll put the link to that parts hunt up here where I've got a lot of these budget PCs coming in and some of them don't have graphics, actually a lot of them don't have graphics cards. And so I need to put in something to match this lower end spec. So I was actually really glad that I found a lot of these lower end GPUs because now I can put together some low end PCs and have that section of the market kind of filled out because I mean I guess in in a perfect world if you are flipping some PCs and uh, you're doing this for a bit of profit you want to have I guess a, a low-end PC a mid-range and a high-end uh, for sale whether it's hitting an exact price point or not isn't so important as the fact that you've just got around that sort of say for instance we've got under five hundred dollars then under a thousand dollars then over a thousand dollars and so that's what I'm kind of aiming to do with my sort of personal uh, flip stack here for Christmas. But anyway, we've got the candidates here. This one I am most curious about, a W5000 Fire Pro, where I think this, like, if this runs Fortnite, I'll be happy. But I know for a fact that all these cards here will run, like, I think RuneScape and Roblox are PCs that I'm actually getting messaged about, especially on the low end. So that's actually interesting because I think those both those games will run on uh, all the GPUs, all well, should I say, all the potatoes that you're seeing here. Now we picked up a lot of these for cheap, and so the GT 450 is probably the weakest of the bunch. But I mean, these will do the job. HD 5770. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I used this way back in the day, like years and years ago. But that's how, like, that's how games or how far games haven't come in the last like 10 years, where people are still playing these games and there's still demand for them. So if there's demand for them, you guys will fill up supply. And so this was the last GPU we picked up, R7250. And now moving through the PCs that we picked up off Les, he had these for 50 bucks. I just said, sure, I'll take the lot. And he chucked in one for free that didn't boot. And the one that didn't boot looks like it probably won't boot due to it being possibly left out in water where you can just see from the USB slots right here that this one is rusted out versus this one. Got some clean USB ports there. Though inside these PCs, we've got four gigabytes of RAM, so we'll have to add another four gigabytes in. We've got no drives, but that's fine because, especially in the last parts hunt, we did pick up a heap of hard drives as well as me having quite a few SSDs. So I'll be absolutely fine in terms of filling these PCs out 
and getting them ready for Christmas. And the power supply checks out absolutely fine too. So here's the last thing we've got here and this is eight monitors where there's just an assortment of different panels. So whether it's 22 inch, 19 inch or 24. I think we only got one 24 inch however and they're all pretty good condition. So there is a few little scuffs and stuff like that hence why I got them pretty cheap. But usually like especially since a lot of these monitors will be going on the low end gaming PCs a lot of people don't care of a little nick here or there. It usually only matters when you're going into the higher end bracket. And so here it is with the early parts hunt of December 2020. I'll put the tally up on the screen for you guys what we have collected so far. And I did check Gumtree and Facebook and there really wasn't anything worth getting at least putting offers down this morning. I was still waiting for that person on the Ryzen CPU motherboard combo to get back to me but they haven't even seen my message yet on Facebook. So hopefully that one might work out. I will update in the description below if it does. But in the meantime, we did pick up some pretty good deals in my opinion. And what you may notice is that I'm picking up a lot of stuff that I guess otherwise I usually am not picking up. And I think that the market and people in the market aren't really looking for these parts. And this is one thing going forward, I'm gonna have to get you guys your feedback on because it's important in relation to used price performance and which way the market is going. And what I've noticed lately is that the market is shifting towards, especially on the used marketplace where I'm at lately. And if you wanna flip a gaming PC and if you wanna make profit, it's all like, it's getting to the point where you're spending a copious amount of money on the aesthetics of the build. So like instead of spending $100 on RGB for say a $1,000 gaming PC, you go out and spend $300 on RGB. So you're getting like nine RGB ring fans, getting a case that supports that many ring fans, and then selling a build that would otherwise be $1,000, selling it for $1,300. And the thing is, from what I'm getting told from people and what I'm seeing is that these builds are actually selling with the more focus on the aesthetic. And this is sort of like eliminating what, I mean, I got into use price performance for the price performance and the fact that it could beat the new price performance. And what I'm seeing lately is it's just much more of a shift towards just aesthetics and that's it. And people really don't care so much on what's going into the build. They just care on how it looks. And I mean, if that's the case, if that's what it takes to keep doing used price performance, or should I say used price, then I guess maybe I have to go down that route, but I just don't believe in it, that's all. And so would you guys wanna see me say, delve into this market more and say, okay, what can we do here, Brian? Which way is the market going? Are you going to adapt to it and play the game, even if you don't believe in it? And so in any field of discipline, sometimes you have to do things that you don't like. And I think this is the way the market's going, where I'm noticing that, for instance, people are telling me about these deals that they're getting and it might be like an X79 motherboard with a 3930K. And they're like, dude, I got a deal on this for like 160 Aussie dollars. And I'm like, did you get any RAM with it? Did you get a cooler? And they're like, no. And I'm thinking to myself, well, that's kind of like as it should be. But these so-called deals, they're lasting for maybe 10 minutes on the marketplace where I'm at. And so I don't have time to constantly check and refresh the browser all day to get what would otherwise be a better deal, I feel, on the new market, which I can just log onto a website, purchase a cheap motherboard and a i3-10100 or a 3100, and I feel like that's a better deal. So I'm at this point now where new price performance where I'm at locally is better in terms of price performance and availability, and then used price performance is kind of going down this path of, okay, people are just buying this stuff for the i7 bragging right in the title. So someone will go out of their way to get an i7-6700, even though a 10100 is pretty much better because it's new. And they'll use that i7-6700 to say, oh, it's got a fast i7 in the gaming PC. And so this is kind of like the route that the whole used market's going down and people on the used scene who want these parts are paying more for it. And I just, I mean, I don't believe in it, but if that's the way it's going, then so be it. And that's sort of like the predicament I'm in at the moment do you guys wanna see more of a shift in new price performance and putting together more cookie cutter deals on the new side? Or would you guys rather see me go down this route of bling bling 
do let us know in the comments. And this is something that I did talk a bit more in depth in the patron vlog too, but I love you guys and your feedback. So do let us know what you want to see come out of Tech Yes City is traditionally that's what the channel's been about. It's been you guys are sending in the requests, I'm doing the vids. However, in terms of what we scored here today, we're getting whole rigs, power supply, motherboard, cooler, i5-2400, 4 gig of RAM, 50 Aussie dollars. That's always really good price performance. So everything that I feel that I got in today's parts hunt is always pushing that price performance barrier, even though the aesthetics on the builds don't look that great. However, that said, all the deals that we picked up in today's parts hunt, I would say that they're offering pretty good price performance, especially when you get an i5-2500 or 2400, four gigabytes of RAM, motherboard, cooler, and case for 50 Aussie dollars. That brings in a value standpoint that the new market just can't match. However, of course, that's really only intended for mainly the low end segment. Though going forward, we do have a very special used price performance segment coming up later in the month. I'm not gonna spoil it, but we've also got the flip up challenge. So do stay tuned for those two things. I'm just doing this parts hunt sort of like, this is the official parts hunt of the month. I just don't wanna let you guys down because I don't know how the latter half of the month will turn out. So in case it doesn't turn out, I'm just saying that this is the official parts hunt of the month. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, then be sure to hit that like button for us and also let us know in the comments section below what was your favorite deal of the month, but also let us know what you thought about the stuff that we just discussed before. And I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon after this question of the day here, which comes from MVU. And they ask, do you think this CPU is worth picking up if you're currently running a 4930K? And they're talking about the 1680V2 that we did in a dedicated video. That's eight core, 16 threads. It's overclockable and it's on the X79 platform. The 4930K, six cores, 12 threads, it will overclock pretty well. However, if you do upgrade to a 1680V2, the thing is you're still not getting the AVX2 instruction sets, which if you're gonna waste that kind of money on the 1680V2, I would just recommend perhaps just overclocking your 4930K at the moment and then just saving that money and then upgrading to something later on once you've really got all the value and extracted all the value out of the 4930K. Because even in a lot of titles and a lot of games, that CPU is still gonna be absolutely fine. And I mean, getting an extra two cores and four threads on the same platform, it would be okay if you're not paying a whole lot. I'd say an extra 50 bucks, but in this case, your 4930K isn't worth a whole lot of money, but the 1680V2 being the best in class for that socket is gonna cost you a bit of a premium, which I'd rather you save that money. So my recommendation at the moment is get the best out of what you've got at the moment with the 4930K and save that money for a different CPU and platform later in the future. Hope that answers that question and I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon. If you've stayed this far and you're enjoying that content and you wanna see the moment it drops, be sure to hit that sub button, ring that bell, and I'll see you next time. Peace out for now, bye.